is a video on infimum and supremum of a set. Let's define the infimum of a set. Let E be a set of numbers. Then M1 is called the greatest lower bound or infimum of E if the following conditions hold. The first condition is M1 is less than or equal to X for all X in E. Second one. Given any epsilon greater than zero, however small, there exists a number x naught in E such that x naught is less than m1 plus epsilon. m1 is called the infimum of E, and this is how it is written. Next, we will define the supremum of a set. A number M2 is called the least upper bound or supremum of a set E subset of R, that is the set of real numbers, if the following conditions hold. 1. X is less than or equal to M2 for all X in E. 2. Given any epsilon greater than 0, however small, there exists a number x naught in E such that M2 minus epsilon is less than x naught. M2 is called the supremum of E, and we write it this way. Now let's look at unbounded sets. If we have a set E that is unbounded above, then the supremum of E is equal to plus infinity. And if we have a set E that is unbounded below, the infimum of E is equal to minus infinity. For a closed interval AB or an open interval AB, the supremum is equal to B while the infimum is equal to A. In the case of the closed interval, equality holds and we can write supremum of x is equal to b where b belongs to the interval a b for the open interval supremum of x is equal to b where b does not belong to the interval a b the same applies to infimum now we will look at some examples on infimum and supremum example one let s be the following set consisting of four elements the elements of S are minus 3, 1, 2, and 5. We can see from here that S is bounded from above and from below. And the least upper bound of S is 5, while the greatest lower bound of S is minus 3. Example 2. Let S be the half open or half closed interval containing minus 6 and 4. Then we can see from here that supremum of S is equal to 4 and the infimum of S is equal to minus 6. We have to note that 4 belongs to S whereas minus 6 does not belong to S. Now the third example. Let S be equal to the interval containing 1 and infinity. S is not bounded from above and so has no least upper bound or supremum. But we can see that S is bounded from below and the infimum of S is equal to 1. We also have to see that the infimum of S does not belong to S in this case. Number 4. If S is equal to the half closed or half open interval containing 0 and 1, then we can see that the infimum of s is equal to 0 in s and supremum of s is equal to 1 not belonging to s the set s is bounded above and below number five if s is equal to the set containing the elements one half one third up to one over n then we can see that the set S is bounded above and below. If you look at the set, you'll see that the largest number in the set is 1, and the other numbers are gradually approaching 0. So that means the supremum of S is equal to 1, which belongs to S, 
and the infimum of s is equal to zero, not belonging to s. Number six, s is the union of two intervals. The first interval is an open interval which contains minus infinity and three, while the second interval is a half closed or half open interval containing four and five. If we look at this uh, set, we will see that S is not bounded below, and so it has no infimum. And on the other hand, S is bounded above by what? By 5. And every upper bound of, of S it must be greater than or equal to 5 in S. So the supremum of S is equal to 5. Now, the last but not the least example is number 7. Number 7 has the set S equal to the half closed or half open interval with 2 and 6. We can see that x lies between 2 and 6. That is, x is less than 6 but greater than or equal to 2 for all x in S. And from this set, we can see that S has 2 as a lower bound and 6 as an upper bound. Therefore, infimum of S is equal to 2 in S and supremum of S is equal to 6, not belonging to S. Okay, we're going to end it here now. I hope that all these examples have been very helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share our videos. Thank you very much.